It's hilarious to me that men call women dramatic. It's all projection. They're the drama queen. Okay, before I show you what made me think of this, remember what we have been talking about. Everything men say is projection. <laughs> Everything they accuse us of is what they are, right? Everything is opposite day. The world is upside down, however you want to put it. But once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's in every... So this popped up in my feed. Men actually cause drama too, very often. They do it by, de by being deeply inconsiderate and wholly uncooperative, which then causes outbursts from others who are said to be dramatic. They pretend to not understand the backlash to their actions and paint themselves as victims. Ah, oh, it's perfect. Which is why these men tell on themselves on dating apps all the time when they're like, I don't like drama, which we know is code for, I don't like accountability. I cause all the drama and they, I then gaslight and make her look stupid and silly and like emotional for being frustrated with my inability to take accountability because I'm playing dumb. But that's what that means, right? And honestly, I think this is where we get the cool girl. As a um, recovering cool girl here, you know, I just didn't. Well, first of all, I rarely called men on their crap anyway, but I learned firsthand that in order to be a part of the boys club, which I was very much around because I worked, uh, you know, as a raft guide and I was in climbing and I worked in the film industry, I was in comedy, like all of these very big, big man-centered world, much like tech and, you know, any of these environments that are so full of bros, you learn real quick that if you dare to challenge these dudes, they will put you in your place and call you crazy and emotional and, you know, eh. the one time I tried to call out one of my coworkers. The one who I mentioned in another video that was like, schooled me on what donkey punch me and the dolphin. <laughs> Go see the other video for that. He was the one who was like, don't tell me you're a feminist. The first time I tried to call him out. And I'm like, uh-oh. Because when you work with these men, and I also like lived around them. You know, when you're in the outdoor world, you not only work with these dudes, you live with them. Because a lot of your time in the field is just with them. You cannot be on their bad side. You have to be friends with them and make peace with the fact that this is your best friend because there's literally no one else around. And so you learn to just be cool, play it cool. And I mean, again, patriarchy just keeps adapting. I can't wait to see what they come up with next because you know it's coming. We finally figured out that the whole cool girl thing was a way to make us pretend like that we're okay with the BS that they're doing, right? But I can't wait to see what's next because they will come up with something else. They always do. Patriarchy and white supremacy and capitalism, all that stuff, it's just, it, is, it is like water. It just reshapes, reforms, rebrand. One day it's snow, the next day it's sleet, the next day it's fog. But it's not going away. Not any, it's not going away anytime soon. Sorry, I'm sick. And so we have to stay on top of it. We have to be, stay on top. What are they accusing us of? Anytime they are accusing us of something, it's exactly what they're doing. And, you know, as somebody who, who dated a narcissistic sociopath, and I do not use narcissists lightly. My dad was literally diagnosed with that back in like the 70s or 80s before anyone knew what that word meant. And then I dated one. I fully understand that men are raised to be narcissists. They're not all narcissists, but they're raised to be narcissists. The same way like white supremacy culture has people, white people centering ourselves and everything. That's what men do. And every time men feel threatened, they flip it around and are like, no, you're the one doing it. It's you. But they do it in a way that makes you look crazy. You feel crazy. And then they get to call you dramatic and emotional and then use that to justify we, why we should never be president when they're the ones who are literally like unalive people because a, a, a girl, a little girl makes too much noise or a boy knocks on the wrong door or just for fun. Like they are so dangerous and so volatile and so unstable and so dramatic and so emotional. And they have convinced us that we're the drama. We're the drama. Have you ever seen a man be sick? <laughs> I swear. A woman will literally be dying of cancer. And her husband will be like, uh -huh, I have a cough. Can you help? The, the unforking your brain from all this is, it is a trip. If it wasn't so hilariously ridiculous. I would be seething with rage on a daily basis. So my goal is to be more dramatic when necessary or flip it and be the calm as a cute, calm, cool, collective gaslighter like them. Oh, what do you mean by that? Sounds like you're um, having a hard day. Why do you got to be so dramatic, bro? I mean, what? I don't know what else to do. Then have fun 
doing the same shit back. Because the reason is clearly not working. <laughs> We're the dramatic ones, my butt.